In this video, we're going to be going over the LCX200, an LCR meter used to measure the impedance of certain electrical components such as resistors, capacitors, and inductors. So here we have the LCX Z2, a text picture used to measure the impedance for the LCX200. So to start your measurements, you first set up your test signal for the equipment. In the top left hand corner, there should be a home button to make sure you're in the home screen for your equipment. And under that should be the settings button. After clicking that, make sure you're in the device tab and scroll down all the way to save slash recall device settings. From there, click on default settings and then here you click yes. This should reset your settings to the default settings. From there, you go back here with the back button and go all the way down here for measurements. Make sure that measurement speed is slow speed, cable length is zero, test signal type is voltage, voltage biases, internal, and a high impedance uh, source impedance. Now go here to open, short, and load corrections and make sure that open correction and short correction are turned on. Now from there you go to the home page and you can start measurements. So the next step for measurements is to attach the test fixture. Make sure that all four tabs are pointing to the left, like so, then inserting it here, being careful not to mess up any of the, the pins shown for the connection, and then from there you turn them all to the right. Two, three, four. Once it's securely connected, you can start making measurements. The next step is to measure a resistor. To start that, you make sure that R is lit up and clicked for functions. Then in the top left corner, you click this right here and make sure it's RSX for resistance and reactance. Then down here, you pick Z theta R for impedance and phase angle. From there, make sure the frequency is around 10 kilohertz. And voltage level should be 1.3. VRMS. An auto function for the range should be fine as well. From there, you connect the component to the device. And on the screen, it should show the accurate measurements for the uh, resistance and the impedance. As you can see from the display, the resistor shows to have 218 kilo ohms with a reactance of negative 1.254 kilo ohms. The specifications for the device are set to have 220 kilo ohms with a 1% tolerance, so these measurements are shown to be accurate. Next, we'll be measuring an inductor. This measurement is quite similar to that of a resistor. For this component measurement, make sure the function is switched to L and lit up. Next, make sure the parameters are changed on the left side of the display to LSQ and Z theta R. Finally, set the measurement frequency to 500 kHz. Once done, carefully connect the tweezers to the inductor, holding them close for measurements. As you can see, the inductor has a measurement of 1 UH, which is equivalent to the specifications found for the inductor at 1 UH with a 10% tolerance. Finally, we will be going over the steps for measuring a capacitor. For this final component measurement, we will first make sure that the function is switched to C and lit up. Next, we will make sure that the parameters on the left side of the display are CPD and under that CPRP. Following that, make sure that the measurement frequency is set to 1 kHz. Once again, make sure to carefully connect the tweezers to the component, holding them close for measurements. As you can see, the capacitor has a capacitance of 334 NF, which is close to endo equivalent to the capacitor specifications of 0.33 UF or 330 NF. During this video, we went over the setup of the LCX200 and how it is used for measurements on a resistor, inductor, and capacitor. I hope this video helped and have fun measuring.